Hello everyone, today we will be writing equations of geometric sequence or geometric series. So we have an example right here to better understand what a sequence is and what a series is. So series is um, like there's a plus in between the terms here. And then for the sequence, it's like there's just a comma in between the terms. Okay, so this is the general equation for um, geometric sequence or series right here. So that's t of n is equal to a sub 1. A, a sub 1 is the first term, so 4 right there. The common multiplier, so common multiplier is how much does it, uh, what, what number was multiplied in order to get to the next number. So in this case right here, we are actually multiplying this by 3. And then 12 times 3 is 36. Then we multiply this again by 3. And so the multi common multiplier for this is 3. That's the R. And then we have an N minus 1 on top. So um, that's, a, uh, that's, geomet that's geometric if we multiply. Now let's have an example to better see um, how this formula works. So we are given here this list of numbers here. Um, so uh, we, our task is to find the tenth term. So in we we know already that the first term a sub one is seven. But how do we get the ratio or the multiplier? What number was multiplied to each of them? To do that, to find for um, r, r would be equal to just divide the second divided by the first. So that would be twenty eight divided by 7 so the R is actually 4 so each time this was multiplied by 4 so 7 times 4 is 28 28 times 4 is 112 112 times 4 so this is times 4 this is times 4 and this is times 4 now we're asked for the tenth term before we can write the 10th term, we are going to write the equation first. So the general equation for geometric um, sequence is t of n is equal to a sub 1 r n minus 1. Okay, so this is the, we had that on the first slide. So this is the general equation. Now, um, in this problem right here, how should we uh, use this in order that we can solve for the 10th term? So that's the general. So uh, for this uh, problem, our t of n is actually a sub 1, which is 7. And then the ratio is um, 4. And then n minus 1. So this is the equation for this problem. So this problem will have this equation right here. And this one on top is the, gener the general equation. So we're looking for t of 10. So what, what I do is the 10th term. So what I would do is the n would become a 10. So t of, then I put in the 10 there, equals 7, ratio is 4, and then that's a minus 1. So to find the 10th term, I'm going to change the n to 10. So that this means we're looking for the 10th term. And then that's that becomes a 10 also. So if the n is 10, the other n would also be 10. So they should match up. So the 10th term here would be 7 times 4 to the power 9, which would give us this number right here if we use the um, calculator. And this is our t of 10, or this is the 10th term. Okay, now let's check on the calculator to see if um, this number really uh, works. So that would be a seven, that's the first term times four. So 28 is the second term. Then we multiply this by four. That's the third term fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term, eighth term, ninth term, tenth term, and they are a match. It should be, um, it should then be an eight. Okay. Okay, that's it. 
Now let's have the second example right here with a fraction. So again, um, to find the ratio, we are supposed to divide these two together. So this would be 12 over 24 is our R, which is equal to 1 half. So our R is 1 half. So we are multiplying 1 half to each of them times 1 half. And then this is times 1 half, so that's the R. So let's find the equation for this. So uh, the equation that would work for this would be, so that is gonna be T of N equals, we find the A1, which is the first term. So the first term here is 24, the ratio or the ratio or the um, multiplier is 1 half, and then that is n minus 1. So that's the equation. And then we are looking for the ninth term. So that means we are changing the n to 9. So that's 24 times 1 half minus 1. Again, we're looking for the ninth term. So I'm going to change that to 9. So t of 9 would be 24 times 1 half to the power 8. So if we use the um, calculator for this, this should come out 0, this is t9 or the ninth term, so 0 0.09375. Please check, uh, please check uh, with your calculator to see how we got these numbers. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!